King Charles' final verdict gives Mike and Zara a special role in New Monarchy, Harry and Meghan ignored. Let's break it down, shall we? First, we've got Zara, Princess Anne's daughter, granddaughter of the late Queen Elizabeth II, an all-around badass. This woman isn't just royal by blood, she's made a name for herself outside the velvet ropes of the monarchy. An accomplished equestrian, businesswoman and mother of three, Zara's got more going on than a squirrel at a nut convention. And then there's Mike, former rugby player, podcast host, and the guy who's not afraid to call Prince William one pint Willie, because apparently our future king can't hold his liquor. Together, these two are the royal family's cool aunt and uncle, the ones who show up to family gatherings with embarrassing stories and inappropriate jokes, but are loved by everyone anyway. Yep, that's Mike and Zara. Now let's talk about why King Charles has decided to give these two a starring role in his new vision for the monarchy. It's simple, really. In a world where the royal family is often seen as out of touch, stuffy, and about as relatable as a penguin in the Sahara, Mike and Zara are a breath of fresh air. They're the bridge between the old world of tiaras and curtsies and the new world of Instagram and TikTok. They're the royal family's way of saying, hey look, we can be normal too. We've got jobs and kids and we sometimes trip over our own feet in public. And let's not forget their relationship with other royals. While Harry and Meghan have been burning bridges faster than a pyromaniac at a matchstick factory, Mike and Zara have been building them. They're close with William and Kate, often spotted joking around at royal events. Their kids are friends with George, Charlotte and Louis. Heck, Mike's even been known to give William a big hug in public. Can you imagine Charles trying that? He'd probably dislocate something. But it's not just about the younger generation, Zara's relationship with King Charles is something special. Body language experts, and yes, that's a real job, have described their bond as one of the sweetest and most uncomplicated in the royal family. In a family known for its complex relationships and protocol, that's saying something. King Charles has recognised their value, their loyalty and their ability to connect with the public in a way that the more traditional royals can't. But let's be real for a moment, this isn't just about rewarding Mike and Zara, this is a strategic move on King Charles's part, he's looking at the future of the monarchy and thinking. But with Mike and Zara on board, the royal family has a fighting chance. They're the fresh blood that the monarchy needs, the new perspective that could help drag the centuries-old institution into the 21st century. And let's not forget the entertainment value. I mean, can you imagine Mike at state dinners? This is a man who's not afraid to wear novelty suits and make dad jokes. He'll probably have world leaders in stitches while Zara charms them with a down-to-earth personality. It's a far cry from the stuffy formal image that we usually associate with the royals, and that's exactly the point. And let's not forget that this is a slap in the face to Harry and Meghan. While they've been busy trying to build their own brand, their own empire, separate from the royal family, Mike and Zara have shown that you can have your cake and eat it too. They've built successful careers outside of the royal family, while still remaining loyal and supportive. They've shown that you don't have to choose between being your own person and being part of the family. You can do both. It's a lesson that Harry and Meghan could stand to learn from, but something tells me that they're not in the learning mood right now. They're probably too busy plotting the next move, the next attempt to grab the spotlight. So to Harry and Meghan, I say this, watch and learn, this is how you do it. This is how you support your family while still being true to yourself. This is how you make a difference without making it all about you. And to Mike and Zara, I say, go get them, tigers. Show the world what the modern monarchy can be. Show us the fun the laughter, the real moments behind the pomp and circumstance. Because at the end of the day, that's what we all want to see. We want to see a royal family that's not just symbols on a balcony, but real people with real lives. And if anyone can show us that, it's Mike and Zara Tyndall.